Hey everyone, and welcome to my course, Leveling Up to ES6. I'm your instructor, Cody Seibert. And in this course, we're gonna be taking all the features of ES6 and kind of helping you transition from your ES5 typical approaches to using these new features. So before we dive into using these features, I wanna first talk about who this course is geared towards and who this course is not geared towards. So this course is geared towards people who already have a decent understanding of JavaScript. So you might consider yourself a late beginner or an intermediate, you know how to do functions, you know how to do prototypical inheritance, you know, self-executing functions, um, how scope works, stuff like that. So you have a decent understanding of JavaScript and you kind of just want to learn the new features of ES6. So this course is not for someone who's a complete beginner in programming or JavaScript, right? Again, we expect you to know the basics of JavaScript so that you don't feel lost in this course. But with that being said, even if you are a complete beginner in JavaScript, as you're learning and going through your tutorials to learn JavaScript and learn how to program, this course is great for just picking out those little new features in ES6, and maybe you can read through this course and apply the curriculum to what you're currently learning as you're trying to become a programmer in JavaScript. So how this course is structured is we're gonna be taking the most essential ES6 features, such as like const, let, promises, iterators, et cetera, and then at the end of the course, we're gonna be kind of covering the more ambiguous or, or less well-known features that you may or may not even use that much, but they're still there and they're still good to learn. So we're gonna cover them in this course. So at the end of the course, you should have a great understanding of how to use the new ES6 features. You should be able to start using them in your day-to-day -day programming endeavors and not have any issues. And again, this course will be a great reference to come back to if you're trying to learn the features or use them and you kind of forget how a particular feature worked or maybe you forgot that this particular feature existed. So again, use this curriculum as a look back chart to kind of refresh your memory if needed. All right, so with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. 